Greetings folks, Dan here, and welcome back to Kaiju Showcase. Today we'll be taking a look at one of my favorite kaiju of all time, or mecha rather, the original Mechagodzilla. Now this one is uh, stamped 1983 Japan, made by Bondi on the foot. And while I would really, really like to believe it's part of the 84 original five, it, it sadly isn't. This is the uh, reproduction they did in 1989. And a couple ways that you might, you know, folks that are don't really know that much about it, the way you might tell is the paint job is very similar between this one and the original, but uh, differences are that the scaling, the size is slightly smaller and uh, on the rear, on the tail here you can't really see it very well but right there is that little bubble there that's pretty much a, uh, a telltale sign that uh, that is the 1989 reproduction where the original supposedly didn't have that bubble it was actually an indentation at least from what I'm told now about the figure Obviously it's an old toy. It's based on a very old mold. It's the, actually the original Bondi mold. So uh, it might not be the most realistic rendi uh, rendition of you know the character. The, the newer molds are going to be superior uh, if you're looking for a more uh, film accurate uh, figure. But I, I rather like the old toys. So the painting of course isn't right. You know there's some black here and there and it's put on sparingly. I mean the details look really good. It's just not really film like it's not really super film accurate but the painting's pretty good you know you got the red here where it needs to be and then the yellow for the eyes and the teeth are yellow though I don't recall them being yellow in the film but again it's an early toy we'll roll with it now something that's actually good about this one is actually the articulation because it does do 360 for both arms the legs will spin 360, the head will spin 360, so you know, if you put it on a drill, you might be able to create the shield that I, I would imagine you'd probably ruin the figure at that point. The the uh, the waist almost turns 360 on mine, it may just be mine, but uh, once you get the midsection right about to the spikes here, it doesn't really want to go anywhere, and I'd rather not force it. So, I mean, it's it's actually a pretty solid figure, a lot better articulation than the last couple I've reviewed. Um, and it's just it's just a really robust figure, and I, I actually it was a, a birthday present for my wife, which uh, I truly wasn't expecting, but I'm very grateful because every last couple times I tried to buy this, I either got outbid or I thought it was way too much money for it. But but the figure, it's really cool. It'd make a really neat display piece if you like the older stuff, or if you just like Mechagodzilla in, in general. The mold uh, was issued only three times to my knowledge. Uh, the original 84, the 89 re-release, and then the 95 Memorial box set, which the paint job's a little different. It, it lacks some of this black here, so. But uh, it's, it's really a cool figure. I mean, I'd highly recommend it. If you can get a hold of it for cheap enough, I'd really, really recommend it. The history we're going to keep kind of short because I'm sure most of you know everything that needs to be known about Mechagodzilla, so we'll kind of give an abridged version. Uh, he was created by the uh, aliens from the third planet of the black hole system, or I've sometimes heard them referred to as the simians. Uh, it was the created to, of course, you know, why not, what better way to beat Godzilla than with another Godzilla that is a robot and doesn't have the fatigues of flesh. So, I mean, it's a really cool idea. I really truly love the movie. This is actually the original Mechagodzilla, not the uh, Mechagodzilla 2 that appeared in the film after the original uh, the uh, Terror of Mechagodzilla is where the second Mechagodzilla appeared in. Uh, you know, this again, it's it's not something I really want to go into a bunch of detail with. You know, he he fights Goji and King Caesar in there, and he ro parades around as the real Godzilla, and, and, and eventually turn realized that uh, he's a fake because he'd be so crap out of uh, Angiris, and Angiris uh, ends up tearing a chunk off his arm. It's like, oh, that's not right. 
Unless, you know, Godzilla suddenly got like a bionic limb and his roars off. So it's kind of obvious. I'm sure everybody and their brother has seen that movie. It's not like it's anything new. <laughs> I guess there's kind of a statue of limitation on a, a film that's, you know, 36 years old. So, <laughs> But uh, it, it's really one of my favorite movies of all time. But this is the original, so we won't talk about any of the sequels right now. I mean, he's real, obviously he's really robust. He's got weapons up the wazoo. Finger missiles, you know, toe missiles, knee missiles at one point. Um, it's weird that, uh, something I always thought was kind of weird and i got to bring up in this video is when he was parading as Godzilla, he had like a, a yellow ray from his mouth, but he completely lost that when he turned into a robot. At one point they showed like a missile pod in his mouth that he's firing out of, and I always thought it was weird that this, this yellow ray just vanished. Once he transforms, I don't know. Again, it's just one of those things with the movie. I, I don't, I don't consider it a flaw. It's just something I kind of noticed. But I mean, completely, he's, he's, you know, he's awesome. He's like one of the best show of Godzilla villains ever, next to King Ghidorah. So. Now, I guess the last little bit I want to talk about is availability. Obviously, because this figure is, what, 21 years old? Or almost 22 years old? They're not really just readily available. This was supposed to be tagged. Obviously, mine doesn't have that. If you found one, awesome. If it's cheap, which I really doubt. If you get one cheap enough with a tag, I say go for it. Um, my wife ordered this from a friend of mine in Japan. that uh, So I got a really good deal on it. Though I probably would not suggest spending more than 20, 30, maybe 40 if you really, really want it without a tag. 40 might be pushing it, but I wouldn't spend more than 20, 30 bucks for it. Um, it's really, like I said, it's really a good piece. I mean, you cannot go wrong with them. They are out there sometimes. It's like any old figure I've done. It just depends. You might find one on eBay. You might know somebody in Japan. Your better, best bet is actually knowing somebody that lives in Japan that can ship them to you because you could obviously find them a lot easier that way but uh, I think we'll wrap this up and that kind of gives it it's a, again really great figure even stop motion dudes will have a blast with it the only thing is I wish the the wrists to turn that would be my only complaint but other than that I absolutely love the figure it's one of I've been dying to have in my collection I can't wait to get some one of the newer molds I might have one on the way so, uh, yeah, stop motion guys will love it. Just people who like older stuff in their collection will absolutely love it. Mech Godzilla fans will love it. And this is actually the last review for the year. I'm moving in like several days. So I'm hoping we'll start, you know, doing some more videos when I, when I move. We'll do another figure review or so. So hopefully it'll be like a week or two. Might be a little long. It might take a little bit longer than, you know, the last couple of videos just because. You know, I'm moving, so I've got to get everything situated, get the collection dug out, blah, blah, blah. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Y'all have a, a safe and fun new year, and I just want to do a drop real quick. I'm sure all of you know him, but go over to Kaiju Nomura's webpage. The dude is the man. He is awesome. He has a ton, a ton of, you know, toys and collectibles. He does a lot of that high-end stuff, but he also does low-end stuff for a... Uh, broke folks like myself so all right well uh you guys take care and we'll see you next time Kentaurus!